वेलकम एवरीवन टू ए एस आर यंग आयस कौन बनेगा आयस तो ये we are going to start off with a quiz show the first level which is the easy level so there are 15 questions in this level once the question is flashed please look at the poll question which also flashes on your screen along with it and click on the right option a b c or d so let's begin with the first question so this is question number 1 which color stands for peace in indian national flag a blue b saffron c white and d green Once you are done with this, the poll co poll link will go. So your answers have been recorded with us. We'll show you the right answer. The right answer for this question is white color. Of course, white color st uh, stands for peace. So which color stands for peace? It is white. The next question is how many Asiatic lions are there in the state emblem of India? A three, B four, C five, or D two? The correct answer for this question is four. So there are four lions. If you look at the state emblem of India, you would see three in the front, but there is one more which is hidden from the photo, which is behind. So there are in all four Asiatic lions. Let's go to the third question. Which of the following is the national animal of India? A lion, B cow, C elephant, or D tiger? The correct answer is D tiger. Let's go to the next question. Why do we celebrate Republic Day in India? A a constitution came into effect. B we got independence. C we wanted a national festival or D all of the above. So why do we celebrate Republic Day? The correct answer is a constitution came into effect. when we got independence the day on which we got independence we celebrate our independence day but our republic day 26 january is the day when our constitution came into effect so that is the date which we celebrate as republic day so that is the correct answer let's move ahead fifth question what is the length as to width ratio of a flag so what is the measurement what is the ratio of the measurement how long it is and how broad is it so a 2 is to 3 B four is to six, C three is to two, or D four is to two. Yes, the correct answer is three is to two. We move on to the next question now. The sixth question: How many spokes does the Ashoka Chakra have? So, in the center of a national flag, we have the Ashoka Chakra in blue. So, how many spokes? How many lines does it have? So, the spokes. The options are A twenty four, B thirty five. C twenty one D sixty. So we we'll see the correct answer. It is A twenty four. Next we move on to question number seven. Who unfurls Indian flag in the state capital on Republic Day? A Chief Minister, B Prime Minister, C President, or D Governor. Let's look at the correct answer. Yes, it is the governor. So it's the president at the national level, at the in the country's capital in Delhi. The president unfurls the Republic Day on Republic Day the national flag, and in the states, every state, the state governor unfurls the Indian flag. Let's let's move on to the next question. This was a little tricky one. I hope you got it right. And if you don't, then you have learned something new. The eighth question: Which language was the Indian Constitution written in? A Sanskrit only, B English only, C Hindi only, or D English and Hindi. So the Indian Constitution is the law book of the country. So these laws have been written in which language? At the time of in after independence, when we framed our constitution, in which language was it written? So you have four options. You have to select from the correct answer. Correct answer is D English and Hindi. 
so it was written both in english and hindi translated in hindi and brought up because at the time of independence all the national citizens did not know english we did not expect everyone to understand english so hindi and english both were used as the language for our indian constitution next question question number 9 how many union territories are there in india a6 b7 c8 or d9 we will see the correct answer the correct answer is c8 now if you have read in textbooks you will see that number of union territories are seven but when jammu and kashmir lost its statehood jammu and kashmir is no longer a state but it has been segregated into two parts jammu and kashmir and ladakh and both have been made union territories so plus 7 plus 2 it becomes 9 but also the government merged two union territories dadra and nagar haveli and dandan and diu have been merged so they have become one union territory So nine minus one means it becomes eight. So total there are eight union territories. So that is the correct answer as of date. Number of union territories in India. The tenth question: Which of the following songs is the national anthem of India? Rang de Basanti Chola A, B Sare Jahan Se Acha, C Jana Gana Mana, or D Bande Matram. So which is the national anthem of India? i hope you have given your answers the correct answer is c janaganamana janaganamana is the national anthem of india the 11th question who was the president of india on first republic day a pandit jawaharlal nehru b kr narayanan c dr rajendra prasad or d dr b r ambedkar the correct answer is of course dr rajendra prasad he was the first president of india the president of india at the time of republic day as well so that is the correct answer moving on to the next question what does the color green stand for in the indian national flag a courage and sacrifice b truth and purity of thoughts c peace and prosperity of life or d faith and prosperity of life the color green in the indian national flag So let's look at the correct answer. The correct answer is faith and prosperity of life. You should know white color stands for peace and truth. Courage and sacrifice is saffron color. Green stands for faith and prosperity of life. Let's move on to the next question. On Republic Day, how many gun salutes are awarded to the President of India? So there are gun salutes given. So the number is A thirty one, B twenty one, C seventeen, or D eleven. Correct answer is C twenty one. You must have heard in Hindi they say ikkis topo ki salami. Ikkis means twenty one. So gun top means gun the which is you no know, uh, which is fired. So this is the gun salute which is given to the president of India. So it's fired in the air. So this is the correct answer. Then comes the next question, fourteenth question. The question is Jana Gana Mana was originally composed in which language? So A Gujarati. B Hindi, C Bengali, or D English. And the question has been flashed on your screen too for poll for the poll. The correct answer here is C Bengali. And now we come to the last question, fifteenth question for this level. What is the Republic Day parade duration? How long does it go on? Republic Day parade. So the four options are A forty minutes, B ten minutes. C sixty minutes or D ninety minutes, and the poll has been flashed. Let's look at the right answer. Correct answer is D ninety minutes. So this completes our level one. I hope you all got a lot of information about the country and about our Republic Day, about our flag, about our national anthem, about the constitution. So with this, we end the level one of our quiz.